we're going to skin our sheep as we should, um, we need to use that information and make good decisions with. It's not a case of uh, drafting out the dries and sending them to the works. Uh, the information needs to be used around how we, how we feed different mobs of sheep um, on the property. Feed levels from scanning through to drop do change in relation to the birth rank of that uh, animal. Many like to keep their twins and triplets together for that feeding period, um, up until two to three weeks preset stocking. At scanning time, we'll use this as an opportunity to condition score the ewes as well. So as they run up the race into the scanning crate, we'll take off the lower condition score ewes and uh, so they can be priority fed with the triplets. And so after scanning we have three mobs, we have a triplet mob and that is the lower condition score use that will be given a mineral drench to, uh, to support them for whatever reason they've fallen off in condition. And then we'll have a mob of twinning use and then we'll have a mob of single bearing lamb use. Uh, these will be fed appropriately so the triplets in the lower condition score use will be fed more than maintenance to, just to get them to put on some little bit of weight. The twinning ewes will be, depending on feeding conditions, but we'd like to start to, to look after them well so they're definitely not losing any weight. And the single ewes will be losing weight. We'll use them to go on a harder country, uh, tidy up any paddocks that we still need to be tidied up and they can um, it take some pressure on them. Leading into lambing, we look to get the ewes set stock about 10 to 8 days prior to their start date. That way they've got time to get settled into their paddock and, and find their place to have their lambs. We try to work on getting our covers at around sort of 1250 to 1300. Ideally like it probably to be a bit more and it also varies between paddock to paddock. We make regular use of, of, of spring nitrogen applications for differing the bee flock, the terminal lambers, they, they lamb a little bit earlier, they're lambing first, so they lamb on our earliest country, but we also seek to artificially bring spring forward by applying nitrogen over the top of them as well to try and um, as close as possible match um, peak demand with, with peak lactation. Um, and any other areas, depending on, if our feed covers aren't at, at optimum level, we'll, we'll identify that um, and post scanning depending on what our scan has been and, and look to apply nitrogen either in, in a urea form or a DAP form um, depending on economics in the, in the late winter, early, early spring.